you guys, it's Megan, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about five products that have just shocked me on how good they are. They just blew my mind. Literally, products that have blown my mind on how fun they are, how useful they are, how effective they are, and the product that really inspired this video are my Sydney Grace eyeshadows. And Sydney Grace is an indie makeup brand, and I believe the owner is Sydney Grace herself, and I heard about this through Mel Thompson, I think was the first person, and then Temptalia has reviewed her stuff as well. And so I started following the Sydney Grace Instagram page, saw the swatches, was just like enamored, mesmerized, like just in shock basically on how beautiful the shadows were at a really really affordable price. So a few weeks ago I placed an order for some of her press pigments and then some of her cream shadows and I just wanted to swatch them for you guys and talk about my experience with them so far and basically I adore them and they're perfect in every single way. So the product that has impressed me and surprised me the most are definitely her cream shadows. These are um, liquid shadows that come in little tubes like this, little squeezy tubes. Um, the color name is just like a sticker on the back. You can barely see it on most of these. Um, it's literally just like a little si sticker here. And then there's a window to see what the color is. So I have the shades Vibrant Madness, Glory, which is one of her newest shades, and Cliff Jumping, which was the swatch that just led me down this rabbit hole and then I have six of her single shadows I put them in this um, MAC palette because they do come loose and so I'll go through all of those as well but first I'm going to start with the liquid shadows and the main thing I have to say about her liquid shadows is the tiniest like pin point drop will go a super long way on my eyes today I have glory and this is definitely the one that I've been wearing the most. It's so beautiful. It's so unique. It's like this purple, dusty purple type of color. It's absolutely glorious. <laughs> and oh my god, it makes me speechless. I love it. So I would suggest just putting the tiniest drop that you can on your hand and then getting a brush and like working it in and then starting off small, wiping off the brush and going back into blend because you will see these like can be blended to the end of time. Like that is, that pigmentation is insane and they are so metallic and so stunning. It literally speechless is the only way I can describe how they make me feel. This is Cliff Jumping, which is like a taupey, yeah, it's like a taupey color. And again, very pigmented. I tried to do a smaller drop of that. And that one is gorgeous. I feel like that would be just the perfect like everyday um, metallic taupe eyeshadow. And then we have Vibrant Madness, which is kind of like a gold color, like a um, molten gold. And I don't normally go for golds, but I don't know, there's just something really special about that one. It's like an antique -y kind of gold. So those blow my mind. Literally, I don't have words to describe how beautiful these are. You definitely have to be careful applying them because a little goes such a long way. It kind of is like a dangerous product if you're if you're a person that applies a lot and hopes for the best. Like I would say apply a very small amount and build up if necessary, but you probably won't need to build it at all. But the swatches speak for themselves. So those are stunning and um, I believe they're expanding the liquid shadows. Seems like they're always coming out with different like collections for each season. So that's really fun. Then we have the uh, pressed eyeshadow. So like I said, they come um, just like the pan. And so I put it in this MAC um, little six pan palette that I had. So I... It took me a really long time to decide what shadows I wanted to get from Sydney Grace because there's a ton that I want, but her pressed pigments and like the metallics are what 
were really different to me. I was like, I could get mattes and shimmers and I can make like a whole big palette, but I was like, why would I do that when I already have mattes I love and I really wanted to just have different unique shades that I don't already have in my collection. So I picked out these six. They don't all go together, but I have them in one palette um, because it's just easier. And this one I've been using a lot. This one is called Immortal. And it's like a pink champagne type of color. It's gorgeous. This one is being discontinued, I noticed, on her site. This is called Shaley's Shimmer. And it is so beautiful. I love this type of, like, muted teal. And just the shimmer on these is so refined and so beautiful. It's just outstanding. This is my favorite shade. I cannot wait to swatch this for you. This is Dive. And this color, oh my god, it makes me go crazy. It's so stunning. It's so multidimensional. It's like a dusty blue with like green and gold and the way that that like duochrome looks on your eyes just is like mermaid magic. It is so beautiful. It really goes well with the Shaley Shimmer as well. Um, this one, what is this one called? I don't know all the names by heart. Oh, I just dumped them all out. Okay, so I have all the names right so far. This one is called Somber and this is like a taupe color. So Somber was one that I was like, I'm gonna wear this all the time. And honestly, I haven't even worn it yet, but it is like a beautiful purpley taupe. I think that would be such a gorgeous like smoky eye. Oh my god, yes. Then we have Black Ice, which I thought was so, so pretty. And these are so pigmented, you guys. It's wild. And this is just a really beautiful, like, shimmery charcoal color. It's stunning. And then the final shade that I picked out was, like, out of my comfort zone because I don't normally go for pinks. And this is called The Greatest Gift. And this is a pinkish green, greeny gold um, duochrome. So I think I'll get more use out of this in like the summertime, spring and summertime. But the pigmentation speaks for itself. The quality of them is so like smooth and buttery and they're just really unique products. And I believe all of the shadows are about five to six dollars depending on the formula. And then the cream shadows, I think, are 7 or $8, which for the amount of product you get, it's insane. Like, you will never use up any of these because of how little product you need. So I wanted to give you guys some swatches of these um, and just tell you guys I'm just mind blown. Like, literally, my mind is so blown about these products. It's next level. Okay, these are really fun too, but I have a word of warning. So these are the Butter London Glazen Eye Gloss. And I got this little set at Kohl's for really, really cheap because they were like clearancing out um, holiday sets. So these are fun because they're like an eye topper that can be multi-dimensional and just sort of like that jelly-ish formula. So this color is called Unicorn and I think it was exclusive to the set that I got. But, and I don't know if you can really tell in here, but it's like a putty, like jello type of product. And I have this on my eyes today, but you can see it just gives like a little glimmer um, to your skin. You don't have to put on your eyes. I feel like that'll be really pretty on the cheeks. Um, and it comes with this little stopper to help keep it from drying out. However, in the set, I also got the shade Electric, which I was so excited about. It's like this purpley blue, but this one has completely dried out. It's just like a puck. And it is like a, it's really fun to play with. Like it's kind of like slime, but like dry. Um, so with these, they're fun, but 
like I think that they'll just dry out too quickly so it surprised me on how fun they are how cool they are but I guess I would warn you to probably not purchase them because they'll most likely dry out on you like this was completely sealed in the packaging and it's still dried out so who knows how long of a lifespan I'll get on this uh, unicorn shade but I'll enjoy it enjoy it while it lasts I tapped it on my lids today to add a little more like bluish shimmer even though it does look peach in here the main color that you get from it is like a bluish purple shimmer which I think is really cool so these are fun, but probably not something that'll last you a really long time. Something that I absolutely love, I'm on like a glitter train, Lemonhead glitters that my subby Wendy sent me, and I still Wendy, I'm so appreciative of that generosity of you wanting to send me little samples of them. This is Jailbait, which is like the coolest green glitter ever. So these are like a paste, and What's so cool about these is that even though they're a paste, the paste is a clear base. So basically all you get is the glitter and it just looks so cool on the eyes. Like you can really build it up. I would definitely suggest applying it with your fingers, not really a brush um, unless you are you find a brush that really works for you. I think the fingers just works a lot better. So that's Jailbait. And then this one is like epically cool. This is called like Midnight Society or something like that. And this is like a really chunky glitter. So I think this would be cool like on the body, on the face, not really on the eyes because the pieces are just a lot bigger. But these are really, really, really fun and beautiful if you love glitter. And I was surprised with the formula because I was worried with them being a gel that they would just be like tacky, but they dry down and the um, paste acts as a glue when it dries. So it just stays on my lids for a really, really long time compared to how long I thought it would last. And they're just really beautiful. They catch the light. It's so different than a lot of other glitters that I've tried. And this Jailbait color is just, it, it, like, I'm in love with it. I can't say anything. I just love it so much. I want to get way more colors, but it's holding me over that I have other glitters that are in my life as well. But this formula is just really different and really unique. And it's also like an indie brand, which is fun to support. Okay. On to Too Faced products and then I'll let you guys go. This surprised me so much and I never would have tried it or even heard about it if it wasn't for Tati. And I love Tati. I watch her all the time. I watch every single video of hers and she just has a lot of really unique product rec recommendations. And this is the Peri Para Ah Much Real My Cushion Contour. And I got this at CVS and it's about $17, which is pretty expensive for something that you can buy at CVS but this is a K-beauty brand and it's it's honestly the best contour product that I've ever used it's a squeezy bottle with a cushion on the bottom that the product comes out on and then you apply it on your skin and you can see the color this is perfect for fair skin like I definitely don't think this would work for all skin tones but the way this blends in is just insane like it's not sticky it's not super silicone-y but it really blends well and then it dries down so I use it in the technique that Scott Barnes showed us in Tati's video with like the light concealer and then the cream contour blend it out and then add foundation on top and it's beautiful that way I've also used it on top of foundation blends beautifully looks beautiful and for someone that's really fair, it's been hard to find contours that aren't too dark, aren't too orange, like blend nicely, all that stuff. And this is the perfect one. It really shocked me. It's like on the bottom shelf at CVS, like no one would know about it if Tati didn't talk about it. And it's just really fun. It's really easy to apply. I just go like this and this, sometimes a little up here, and it just works every single time without fail. I take a different brush or my fingers to blend it out. I wouldn't apply it and then blend it with this because it would just be more product being applied to your face. But 
it's just really fun and the I just read this description a long-lasting cushion contour that helps your face look slim and isn't that what we all want so this is really cool and I love that it's accessible at CVS so if you see it try it out especially if you're fair I think that it would be a fun product for you to try it's just so different like this application is just so cool and then the final product that has really, really shocked me and blown my mind is this Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield SPF 50. So I got this little size in the Target uh, Derm Store kit back in the holiday time, and I was like, eh. I hear about Color Science all the time. It's always sponsored. It drives me crazy. And even if a brand is actually good, if everyone's post about you is sponsored, like it doesn't make me have a lot of faith in your company. It makes me feel like, oh, people need to be paid to try your products and talk positively about your products. And it just rubs me the wrong way. So when I saw this in the kit, I was like, Ugh, whatever. But then recently I wanted to try a different um, sunscreen that I had in my collection. I was like, okay, this one's really small. I'll work through it quickly and like that'll be done. This shit is amazing you guys. I love this so much. It's a liquid. I love this little size. I wish they would sell it in like this really small 10 milliliter size. I'll put a little bit on my skin so I can show you the texture. So it's like a pink liquid but it's not super thin and it doesn't smell like sunscreen at all and it just blends in perfectly to my skin like it's it's pretty freaking amazing so I just blend it in all over my skin it gives my skin like a little bit of brightness because it does have that pink tone to it it dries down really nicely because well now I have glitter all over it but it dries down but stays a little bit glowy which I love I love it so much I bought a full size and Derm Store was just doing 25% off of Color Science so I got this for 25% off. So happy with my purchase. This is my favorite face sunscreen I've ever tried. So this is the full size and this is the little size from the Derm Store set. Um, I love that it's thin without being like watery like it's not a cream it's not a like complete liquid it's just that perfect consistency and it just blends into my skin so nicely it's it's a pleasure to apply it to my skin it doesn't pill up under my makeup or on top of my moisturizer and it's just wonderful and I love that it's SPF 50 a lot of sunscreens are like SPF 30 I love that this is SPF 50 because I'm so fair, very prone to getting sunburn, and this doesn't break me out. It doesn't like make my face feel weird or make my makeup slide off faster. It's perfect. So if you're in the market for a new face sunscreen, I would really recommend, especially if you got that Derm Store kit, pull out this sunscreen, give it a shot, see what you think, and just keep your eye on sales because I pretty much never buy anything unless it's on sale. And um, this kind of stuff does go on sale. Like Derm Store, like I said, eventually had it on sale. So those are five products that I have really been surprised by that really have made me happy and that I don't really hear a lot of people talking about. So maybe it'll give you some things to look into and like with these Butter London things, maybe steer clear of them. Even though they're pretty, they probably won't last very long, like they'll dry out quickly. But everything else just has been through and through, 10 out of 10, and just really fun to try out different things and find new things that I really enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you soon. Bye!